two weeks ago, the digger arrived to start work on our therapy farm. There's a big lump of rock in the field where it's going to go. And the plan was to use some of it for the site works. So our digger driver, Martin, started scraping away, breaking it up into smaller hunks and chips. By the first evening, Martin had also moved a lot of topsoil in preparation for the new entrance and track and car park. Amazing how much got done in just one day. What do you think, Annie? A lot of digging and rock breaking. Mm. But over the next two days, Martin hit harder rock and had to use the rock breaker. A pretty penetrating noise, but it was all a sign of progress. Opening up a new entrance meant removing a few trees, but also digging through this lovely hedge of elder and bramble and honeysuckle and hawthorn. But there will soon be lots of new places to plant up to more than make up for it. And putting pipes down and filling in part of the ditch. This just happened so fast after the rock was broken that in no time we were able to give the new terrain a little test. Hello. The first horse and rider ever on our new driveway and leader. <laughs> there we go. Up into the new arena. <laughs> <laughs> cool or what? There's so much space, isn't there? Come then, show us what's been happening. Yeah, come on, come on up this way, everybody. Come on. Ta da! So, what have we here then? You might remember, folks that uh, here was a big lump of rock. So what the digger man did, good old Martin, he broke it all up. He scraped some rock off and he broke it with the rock breaker. Lots of noise all the time. And uh, he broke it into little bits and then he made a beautiful level riding arena. And he didn't stop there. It's magnificent, Sandra. How big is it? It's 20 by 25 meters, which is uh, twice, three times as big as what I got now. So we can go super fast and super everything. Well, you can't go, you can't do anything yet because at no. the moment it's still a broken rock. Yes, it's still pretty hard with sharp bits sticking out. But we are looking into getting a surface we can ride on. Probably, possibly wood chip, about a foot deep. Foot deep, whatever that is. Uh, to make it nice and soft and bouncy. So the banks are beautifully made, but they're a bit bare, obviously. It's just topsoil. So I'm a bit worried they might just get mushy and washed away in the next big rain. So I'm gonna put some uh, grass seed out just for little roots to hold it all together. Oh, it's all getting blown away. Ah! <laughs> just falling off the bank now. Oh, getting blown away, Tim. You can watch the grass grow now, Tim. Be a pleasure. It will be a pleasure. Show us what else 
has been happening. What else? Well, come on this way. Maybe you remember us whining about the electricity people not coming in and we have to wait for them, for the wire to go down. Well, look up here. <laughs> yes, there's <a> cloud. <laughs> That's where uh, the wire used to be, over to this post. But then the electricity, pe the electricity people moved it out of the way, so it's coming up the other way now. Well done. Okay. Here we are. Wait again. Hi. <laughs> Over there is the new entrance. So they had to fell a few trees, but only two or three actually in the end. And then the entrance goes up a driveway. Car park over there, nice. And it goes around the corner. Oh, going back over here is our little yard. The digger man actually gave it a nice tidy clean out. Let's go and have a look. to be our entrance but the planners wanted us to close it off as soon as we open the other one so we put up a nice tidy bank and I'm really looking forward to growing lovely hawthorn and roses and all sorts of things on it to make a nice hedge Still lots of work to do, but what a great start. Yeah, I mean, the buildings are just as they are before because we haven't started work on the buildings yet. But uh, at least we see a bit more what's what. And the most important, we did make a start with your money, your donation. So thank you so much for that. It was just so exciting. The last week basically was like part of a dream come true. So we've nearly, nearly done step number one. All we have to do now is look into some sort of surface for the riding arena. And Tim is looking into making a nice gate for our new entrance. And then that's step number one done. Great. Well done, everybody. Big thank you to Noel Donegan who organised the digging work for us. And after paying that bill, we still have some money left to finish step one. So thanks to your generosity, all is good folks. And what an exciting couple of weeks it has been.